Hi Libra and welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your next 48 reads. Going to tell what's going on with you and your energy for the next 48 hours. Who's coming towards you and what's, what advice spirit has for you. <laughs> I don't know why I always forget that. Alright, first of all guys. If you're waiting to see who's announced for the 10k giveaway. That's going to be announced by the end of this week or next week, okay? So don't stress yourself you know live your life when it comes out it's gonna come out you're gonna see everything that i'm giving to the two winners okay if you missed the giveaway there will be one coming up very soon because my last giveaway before this giveaway was only three weeks ago literally so i give a lot and i love giving back to you guys because you guys give so much to me so if you're interested in that so just stay tuned also Libra, thank you for being one of the most views on my videos last week. You guys literally would have been second in line, but Pisces has to come first because it is Pisces season. So it's Pisces and Sag and you. So you guys gave me 10K views last week. That is very crazy for me because I never had that many views on one video. I don't know what the fuck was in the juice last week, but you guys drank that shit and y'all gave me all these views and I'm very appreciative. So here I am with your singles read. Also, if you're new here... The first week of the month, each month, I'll be doing singles readings because a lot of my subscribers ask me to. And I love you guys and I will give you what you want, okay? So we're doing that. Um, so yeah, if this resonates with you or if you simply just have fun with me here today, please thumbs up the read. Comment a moon down below for Dream Tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days, okay? Also... If you want to follow my Instagram pages, that's going to be down in the description box below. Go visit my website, www.dreamtarot.store. All right, if you want to book a reading or even if you want to book a reading, look in the description box. All that information is down there. But if you want to book it on my website, you can do that. And in the background, you're going to hear my candle is burning. Okay, if you're interested in a candle, this is the first, um, this is the first one I ever put out. It's called Lucid. All right. All right, so this one is very popular because it's the only one I have right now, right? But I feel like even when my two new scents come out this week, yes, I'm dropping two new scents this um, week. You can go pre-order those. It's Night and Vivid. Those are really nice scents. But this one, I feel like it's going to be popular forever. This one is so good, guys. I mean, everybody who buys this candle says that they love it. Inside, you're going to find Lapis Lazuli and Aquamarine, okay? All right. And the, it's a therapeutic candle, so not only does it have crystal healing, it has sound healing as well as what you hear in the background. That little crackling. And also, guys, um, crystal healing, aromatherapy. Okay, so the, the sense of this candle, if you're interested, you can go look on my website. But if you're interested, it is papaya, coconut, just a little bit of coconut. Not too much because I'm not a coconut kind of girl, but I feel like it was needed in this candle. You have spearmint and um, floral gardenia okay so this shit smells great this is my favorite out of all the scents i have three scents so far this one's my favorite so i feel like this is going to be a favorite forever i feel like this is the first one i ever put out and it's going to be popular forever all right if you want to purchase that go visit my website i'm going to have the link down below for you guys if you're interested okay so we're going to get right into your reading libra and i hope you've been okay like i said thank you so much for supporting me on my channel it means so much to me and I really, like, my best friend is a Libra, so I love you guys. I even have co-workers who are so close to me who are Libras. Like, I can't, I love my Libras. I can't get rid of you guys. So let's see what's going on with my single Libras for the next 40 hours. Give me some card spirit. What's going on with my single Libras for the next 40 hours? I'm going to try to upload these today, guys. So it, I'm going to actually, I have some packages to um, go drop off at UPS or the post office. Once I do that, I'm probably going to go smoke me a little hookah and upload these videos because my my um, Wi-Fi at my house, because we live in the woods kind of, is no good over here, okay? So I got to get out in the town to be able to upload my videos on the same day. If not, I can wait all night and they'll upload. I really want these these videos to come out for you guys today. Um, If you're interested, I did Pisces, Saggy, and you today, but they're all singles reads, okay? Anyway, let's see what's going on with my single Libras for the next 40 hours. What's going on with my single Libras for the next 40 hours? Give me some card spirit. Love, her fault is playing for you guys right now. So I feel like someone's putting the blame on someone. So somebody can be putting the blame on you for why you and this person are not working out. Or you're blaming this person, okay? It's a blame game. I feel like y'all are blaming each other. You have the Queen of Cups here, though. So you're very lovable and you're open to love right now. And you have the devil card, though, okay? Hmm. You've been drinking a lot, Libra? I'm not judging. I'm not judging at all. Let's get two um, random messages for Libra 
for the next 48 hours. The single Libras, that is. Give me two random messages. All right, these two wanted to come out. <laughs> All right, so this first message, chosen one is playing too. You're the chosen one, Libra. Let me tell you why you're the chosen one. Not because you're just enlightened, which you're, you are. Not because you're just beautiful, yeah, you are. You're all that. And handsome. You're all that. But let me tell you why you're the chosen one. Because you got bomb-ass pussy or bomb-ass dick. And if you don't believe me, this is what it says right here. Okay. So you got one of the two. That's why you're the chosen one. So nobody could ever flex up on you. Nobody could ever, ever um, switch up on you because you have bomb-ass pussy, bomb-ass dick. Okay. All right, what else? Meditation. All right, so there's a need for you to meditate. You need to woosaw. You need to take a couple of times to woosaw. I have this incense going for you. You can't smell it, though. If you could smell it, you would be meditated by far. Um, but I also have crystals here for you guys. All right, so I have a heart. I think this is... I don't want to say what this is because I don't remember and I don't want to sound dumb. But anyway, I have this crystal here for you guys and also have this one. I don't remember what these two are. I think this one is Chalcedony. I'm not sure. All right. So I have meditation here for you guys. but And I also have my candle, which is therapeutic. But um, there's a need for you to meditate. So how do you meditate? If you meditate by sound therapy or smell, aromatherapy, buy my candle for real. I'm not just trying to advertise. I'm dead ass because my candle... It's, that, it's the truth, baby. And I feel like you can meditate through that. Also, I'm going to be selling this incense thing that I have. I'm not going to be showing it to you guys until I announce the winners of the giveaway. Because I don't have it on my site yet. But I will have it on my site once I release that video. So if you look out for my giveaway winner video, I'm going to show you exactly what this is. And it does... Um, let me open it. It does have... Yeah, I knew that. I knew one of mine. Stop. So I need to light this, one of my incense. This is great for meditation. It is a little chamber for incense. Okay, that's all I'll say. But I want I don't want to show it to you guys just too soon. There you go. So hopefully it will stay lit, the other side at least. But yeah. So anyway, there's a need for you to meditate some type of way. Okay, so whatever way you like to meditate, if you think my candle will help you, use that. If you think this thing might help you, then use that because I feel like this is really good. Um, and if you want to, you can even look up meditation on YouTube. If you don't have anything, any resources next to you, look up that. Whatever you need. If you need love meditation, if you need work meditation, if you need family meditation, stress meditation, look up whatever type of meditation you need. Look it up and follow it on YouTube. All right, Queen of Cups. Hopeless romantic. That's you. Queen of Cups is definitely a hopeless romantic. I feel like that's you, Libra. I feel like that's you for sure. You're working on yourself. Eight of Pentacles. So I just spoke to Saggy. They need to do the same shit that you're already doing for yourself. So I commend you because Saggy needs to do this so bad. You also have the Page of Cups here too. So you're forgiving yourself for past things that you involved yourself in or past mistakes that you had yourself doing. You're forgiving yourself. Okay. Cute. Real cute. What's the Eight of Pentacles? What's the Eight of Pentacles here? The Tower card. Yeah, so you're working on yourself ever since this big breakup or this big blow up you and this person had. Ace of Swords as well. You, you're, you're, you actually, you, okay, so I feel like you and this person had a big breakup, right, um, Libra? Whoever you were dealing with before. And you're taking accountability for what actions you had in the relationship. So I really, I'm looking at you like, damn, bitch, like, you really mature as fuck. Libra, you're mature as fuck to even be able to process that and say, hey, I had some mistakes in the relationship as well. I'm accepting that. What's the Page of Cups? Page of Cups? Three, okay, so you were dating multiple people, Libra, and you're sorry to whoever you were dating. Okay, Libra, this could be reversed, but I'm hearing that it's not, and some of you guys know it's not, so please don't comment down below and say, I didn't I wasn't dating anyone so and so was it doesn't matter who was doing it if there was someone having a third party on you you're forgiving this person if you were having a third party on someone else you're accepting that and you know that and you apologize for that okay but you're still moving forward but what's the devil energy can we go in the Capricorn or thinking about one or just simply your energy what's the devil energy please 
This is a devil energy, please. After this, I gotta go drop off some packages at the post office. All right, Ten of Cups. Okay, so there is this love that was toxic to you, really fucked up your brain and your mental, but you were so in love with this person, which is so understandable. That's a lot of our stories, right? This is why some people even find tarot because of this love that they love someone so bad, and but they misguided them so bad as well. What else? You have the chariot and the universe. So you're moving forward towards what's going to be successful for you. This relationship was not successful from you for you. So you're moving forward. Also, Libra, you're very focused on your success or your next next elevation, your next evolution. So if this person doesn't is not walking in alignment with that, you have to move the fuck forward. You also have the universe here. You're on to your next level. All right. You're closing this cycle out. This toxic cycle with this person. What's the Ten of Cups? I'm proud of you. I'm very proud of you. All right, beyond illusion. This this relationship was nice. It was very nice. It was very addictive, highly addictive, but you see past that. What's the chariot card? Guidance. Your spirit guides are saying move forward. Your success is up ahead. Keep going. Keep going. Don't detour. Keep going. All right? Universe. They're also telling you no U-turns. That's what I'm hearing from the chariot card. No U-turns. You know that sign that says no U-turns? No U-turns. No U-turns. Don't be that one citizen who makes a U-turn in a lane that says no U-turns. Don't be that bitch or don't be that guy. You also have the Queen of Cups here. So you need to, you have self-love right now. You're loving yourself even more. You're learning how to do that by the universe card. Moving on to your next level. You're learning. You're still learning, but you're still moving forward. Before you even learn the lesson, you're going to move forward, which is great, okay? So now we're going to see who's coming towards you, my single Libras, okay? Let's see who's coming towards you. We're going to put two random messages for who's coming towards you as well. All right. All righty, all righty. So let's see who's coming towards my single Libras. Okay, Bugatti. I woke up in a new Bugatti. First of all, this new person is going to be a big upgrade. Big upgrade from your last person. You woke up in a new Bugatti. Think about that. You was in a Honda Civic. You woke up in a brand new Bugatti. Or you might be even be a um a name brand queen. You could have you could like my Libra, she drives an Audi, okay? But she woke up in a new Bugatti. That's an upgrade from an Audi. So you had an upgrade, like this person's an upgrade. It don't matter who you've been dating before. It don't matter if you was dating Obama himself. This person is an upgrade, okay? From Obama. Think about that, okay? <laughs> All right, so who's coming towards Libran? Who's coming towards Libran? Give me some cards, Spirit. Who's coming towards Libran? Give me some cards. Give me some cards. All right, Chariot, Cancer. Someone who's very successful. And then two cards wanted to come out for you, so we're just going to take it. Four of Swords. Somebody who's very successful. Very much in their work. I feel like this is also you, Libra. You're very much in your work. You need someone who's like this so they're not up your ass all the time. They understand hard work, and this person is a hard worker as well. Also, this person just left the situation, Eight of Cups as well. So this could be a Cancer, a Libra like you, or a Piscean. But I feel like this person understands that you, work comes first for you. They don't care. They're like, okay, that's cool. Hit me up when you're done. Let's go have a drink. Let's go have dinner. You also have the Eight of Cups here. Pisces energy. This person just left something just like you did. So you and this person marry each other very well. So this could very well be a soulmate. Because I feel like you and this person went through the same shit. Give me some, give me a random message for Libras. Who's coming towards single Libras? Give me two um, random messages for whoever's coming towards single Libras. One. Give me one more. Yo, why? I swear to God, yo, I'm not playing around. This is just random messages. The same shit just came out. Remember, your message was bomb-ass pussy, bomb-ass dick. So whether I'm talking a masculine or a feminine, you have bomb-ass middle part, okay? Whoever's coming towards you has that shit too. Think about that, Libra. This shit about to be... This shit about to have you like itching like a crackhead, you feel me? You never had someone who matched up with your sexual energy. This person is that person? Like, yo, you see my eyes right now? Like, I'm like, I'm shocked. You and this person both have fucking good-ass middle parts. And think about that together. 
<laughs> like, just kill me now, okay? Because that shit gonna be... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Libra, think about that. You have a bomb-ass middle part. This person does too. This could be a Scorpio even. But this person is like, yo, I'm, I can't even breathe almost. I'm like about to have a heart palpitations because I'm like, damn. Like, that's like... That's like a like a explosion right now. Like I feel crazy. I feel crazy right now. Like you and this person both have great middle parts and y'all can utilize it against each other. Think about that. Oh my god. That's me. I'm very jealous right now. I'm like, what? Like I want that. <laughs> Let's see what else is here. Sagittarius. Ooh. Okay, Sagittarius. There could be a Sagittarius coming into your life. Hello? So this is that person with that bomb-ass middle part that's going to meet up with your bomb-ass middle part. It's like, it's like y'all not even a relationship. It's y'all It's y'all middle parts. Their middle part is like, hey, how are you? And your middle part is like, hey, I'm good. And they're like, oh, you know how to do so-and-so? And they're like, I know how to do that. I'm an expert. And they're like, oh, bitch, I am too. And they're like, well, come show me. And then y'all like, ah. <laughs> it's like you and this person don't even have a connection it's y'all middle parts are talking to each other like you ready and they're like i'm ready bitch <laughs> libra what the fuck your sex life is about to be popping on and popping so if you've been dry for a couple months just know that shit about to be a real gushy gushy okay what's the chariot card whoo Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. What's the cherry card? Could be dealing with the Cancerian. And three cards came out for you guys. I usually don't pull three cards, but I'm just going to clarify with each one. What's the cherry card? This one to come out. Card. Ooh, shit. All right, you have morality. This person shares the same morals as you. This person is a hard worker like you. They understand. They, you and this person have the same mental mindset and physical mindset. That shit is crazy, Libra. I'm really jealous of your reading. What's the chariot? Give me one more card for the chariot. Tower moment. Didn't I just tell you this person went through the same shit as you? Also, y'all connection is explosive. Tower. You and this person's connection is so explosive. It's going to be so successful. You're going to be like, whoa, where have you been all my life? Type energy. What's the four of swords? You and this person work very hard and you both are going went through something. Also, you guys work very hard and your schedules are going to be hard to align with each other. So just know that. You work hard, Libra. This person also works very hard. Let me make sure these are not dead. Okay. Let me light up my incense because they're barely burning. Barely burning. Just know that when you and this person want to get together, it's going to be very hard because you guys both have different schedules and y'all both really value work. Okay? But... Y'all both value work a lot, but the thing is, it's going to be hard to mesh with this person. So I feel like it's going to be hard to have that first date with this person. But when you do, it's going to be wonderful because y'all mentals are the same, right? Y'all might have different interests, but y'all mentals are the same and y'all click in that energy. And then I feel like, too, um, other than that, too, I, f <laughs> I feel like when you guys finally connect sexually, it's going to be crazy, yo. Like... Take your time having sex with this person because you might just fall before you even want to. Yeah, playfulness, which is the night of wands. The sex is going to be bomb as fuck. So take your time with that. There's no reason to rush because you know good things are worth waiting for. So just wait. Don't rush it. Eight of Pentacles, too. This person's been working on themselves. And you've been working on yourself. So that's going to be really good for this relationship. What's the Eight of Cups? Wow, Libra. This is, this is nice. This is a nice read, honestly. All right, Beyond Illusion. All right, so, and Guidance. This person also was pushed spiritually to move on from their last relationship, their last connection. I feel like the reason that this person, they're going to tell you this too. The reason that they stopped dealing with whoever they're dealing with, um, you know, interchangeably or whoever they're dealing with at the time is not because, it was because they argued so much because this person worked a lot. Libra, I feel like you work a lot, so you understand that. That's not gonna be a that's not gonna be a problem between you and this person. Actually, you guys are gonna be able to exchange stories about y'all exes, and you and this person are not gonna be jealous. Y'all just gonna be like, wow, like I can't believe like you know I found someone like you type of energy. Also, beyond illusion is here too. So this person's a workaholic, but they're also very much a lover. Like you know, to to other people, this person just looks like a workaholic all the way. The people who don't work as much as you. But Libra, I feel like your person. Hold on, let me answer. 
All right, sorry, Libra. I had to pause the video because um, my eyes were getting really sensitive to the light. So I think even the rest of my videos, I'm going to be having these sunglasses on, which hopefully nobody gives a fuck. So let's see what spirit guide, um, what guidance spirit guide wants to say for you. Anything that they want to say, any advice that we can get from spirit for you guys, all my singles while you're dating. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Spirit, give me any advice for Libra for singles when they're dating, when they're dating, when they're stepping out. Any advice for them for my single Libras? All right, you have the Hermit. Hmm, Libra, you need to spend some time to yourself. Actually, go within. Hi, Priestess. Oh, Spirit. I mean, not Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to Libra. Libra, how close are you to spirit right now? Do you even know what you want, what you're looking for in a relationship? Are you just... I feel like you're like the casino. Like, you know when this casino and you pull down the lever and it just goes random and it just like... Ding, 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 and it picks like those three random shits. That's you. Like, you're randomly dating, I feel. And that's not going to help you it's not going to help you manifest your new love or the person that you're meant to be with it's not going to help out so i feel like you really need to be intentional with dating but the only way that you can find out how you're going to what intentions you have while dating who you want to meet is by going within so you need to take some time and go within also i feel like you're so busy right now with work and like your children you don't even set you don't set a time a, 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 you don't set aside time to really see what you want in a relationship a lot of your relationships were just people who just randomly walked into your life. And I feel like that hasn't worked if you're watching, okay? That hasn't worked for you. So now you need to intentionally date. So my advice to you is get a, a piece of paper and write down the qualities that mean a lot to you. And they can be superficial or non-superficial. They can be everything. The things that are really important in life and the things that are not really important, but I would love to have that if I can. Write that shit down and manifest it. Because I feel like you haven't taken any time. Your life goes like this. That you're just like randomly find dating. You're randomly dating. You're not really setting attentions. It's just like, okay, this person walks in my life and they're kind of hot. So I'll date them. But I don't think those people are for you. Let me get two random messages for Libran. When it comes to advice from spirit, any random messages? One. Give me one more. First message that came out from spirit. Not my type. Didn't I just say that? You guys are randomly dating. People who are not even your type. You need to figure out what's your type, Libra. If I ask you right now, what's your type? What would you say to me? I feel like you'd be like this. Like, you don't even know what your type is, right? So, like, really sit down and think about it. What's my type? What do I want? What's going to make me happy? Who's my type? What kind of people do I like to date? What kind of people do I want to date? You need to think about that. So, Spirit's saying, find out your type before you're just randomly dating. And then this right here is I masturbate to you. So, <laughs> Libra, think about this. Whoever you're sexually attracted to, that could be your type. So, just like how I just asked you who your type is and you don't know. Whoever you masturbate to, whoever you think about when you're having sex... Like, I feel like you fuck people, Libra, and then you think of other people while you're fucking people. And nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, actually, there's everything is wrong with that, actually. But I'm not judging you because, you know, your person doesn't know this. So how can they really, like, you know... I mean, I don't, I don't think it's healthy for a sex life. But that goes back to saying that you were fucking someone who is not your type. Stop doing that. Actually know who your type is and go for those kind of people, okay? And that takes the hermit card that takes going within, all right? Sometimes you're going to be lonely, you're going to be single for a little bit, but that's okay because it's for a greater cause. And also High Priestess, getting getting um, getting stronger in your spirituality. I feel like you're very spiritual, Libra, but you really need to find yourself. You don't even know yourself and you don't know who you want to date. So really take time. There's no rush out here. Everybody thinks you're a hot bitch, hot nigga, okay? Everybody wants to date a Libran, okay? You don't believe me, Kim Kardashian is a Libran, Okay, that bitch is fine as hell. So, everybody wants you, but we can wait, okay? We can wait until you find yourself and find out who you want to date. Stop shoving <laughs> stop shoving dicks up there that are not your type. 
Stop shoving your dingling in 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 twats that are not your type. Okay, it's not worth it. So that's your advice from spirit. <laughs> Spirit is like this on me right now. That like I would not have Spirit would not have delivered that message to you. They would have did it in a better way than I did. But I'm your home girl. All right. So we're gonna talk for real. So that's your advice. All right. And that concludes my Libra singles. Okay. Also, Libra, I do have your next 48 coming out this week. Yeah, you heard that right. This week I'm doing shorter next 48s because I cannot help myself. I want to do the next 48 reads so bad. So we're gonna do it. Why the fuck not? Right? So look out for that coming as well. All right. I love you guys so much, Libra. If this um, if this resonated or if you enjoyed this video, please thumbs up the video. Comment the moon down below for Drink Tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple days. If you want to book a personal with me, all the information will be down in the description box below. Um, if you want to follow my Instagram pages, that's going to be down in the description box below. If you want to buy a candle, that's going to be the first thing you see down in the description box below. You'll see my website. Follow that link and it will take you straight to the candles. You can pick out which ones you want. And yeah, you can buy them. All right, I love you guys so much. Also, stay tuned for next week. I'm announcing the giveaway winners next week. And I also have a special surprise for everybody. So I'm super excited for that. It's on Hush Hush right now, okay? But I love you guys. Go watch your next 48 when it comes out after this video. Or maybe it might come out before. Love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.